Hello everyone and welcome to Dementia Ninja channel. In this video, we'll discuss why adults whose mother had Alzheimer's disease may have an increased risk and we'll also explore the factors that may contribute to this increased risk and what steps can be taken to avoid it. Alzheimer's disease is the most common type of dementia. It is a condition that not only affects the individual diagnosed, but also has an impact on their families particularly their children. According to the Alzheimer's Association, having a family history of Alzheimer's disease does not necessarily mean that an individual will develop the disease, but it does increase the likelihood of developing it. It's crucial to acknowledge the role of genetics in Alzheimer's. Research indicates that individuals with a parent who had Alzheimer's face an elevated likelihood of developing the disease themselves. When a mother has Alzheimer's disease, there is an increased risk for their adult children to develop the disease as well. This is due to genetic predisposition, where certain genes can be passed down from parent to child. However, genetics is just one piece of a much larger puzzle. Although Alzheimer's can have a hereditary component with certain genes potentially increasing susceptibility, it's important to remember that many individuals with a family history never develop the disease, while others without a family history do develop Alzheimer's. Genomic imprinting is the process wherein a gene is differentially expressed depending on whether it has been inherited from the mother or from the father. Even if there is a genetic predisposition, it is not the only factor. Regular exercise, a balanced diet, staying mentally active, and social engagements have all been linked to a reduced risk of developing Alzheimer's. Being aware of early signs and symptoms is vital. Memory lapses, confusion, difficulty in problem solving, these can all be early indicators. If you're an adult with a mother who had Alzheimer's, it's crucial to be proactive about monitoring your cognitive health. Regular checkups with a healthcare provider and cognitive assessments can facilitate early intervention and support early on. This allows for timely interventions and support. Lastly, don't underestimate the emotional impact. Coping with the knowledge of a higher risk can be emotionally challenging. Seek out support groups, counseling, and resources to help you navigate this journey. Connecting with others who are in a similar situation can provide comfort, understanding, and valuable insights. In conclusion, while having a mother with Alzheimer's disease may increase your risk of developing the condition, it's not a certainty. By making healthy lifestyle choices, scheduling regular checkups, and staying mentally and socially active, you can take proactive steps to mitigate the risks. If you find this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to this channel for more valuable content. Take care and I'll see you in the next video.